the dogs are barking, the tricycles are honking, karaoke is blaring, you know what that means, it's Saturday night in Payadas and we're here for some futsal highlights. And here's the league table so far as we go into the second game week. Payatas FC sit third in the table, we're behind Tuloy and Azuri B on goal difference. Santa Cristo currently bottom of the league after a heavy loss. Last week they'll be wanting to bounce back uh, and show that they've improved. But the girls know each other very well because Santa Cristo are also from Quezon City, the same city as Payatas. And um, together we were the Quezon City team for Batang Pinoy. So the girls are friends off the court. Now here's Joanna picking up the ball, our goalkeeper from Montalban, one of only two players not currently living in Payatas right now, on our entire squad. I got with a cheeky nutmeg, she's found Cha here on the left wing, cuts inside, no one's there for the second post, but Cha's pounced on that, she's punished Santa Cristo, bit slow in releasing the ball in defence, and she's got there first. Here's AJ, I got trying to find Cha again, just a little bit behind, it's that pass just ahead of the player you want. Uh, and Cha would have been in on goal again. I got plays out wide to Cha. Cha to May. May has hit the post. It's good play again from the girls. The scramble has the Santa Cristo goalkeeper pounce on the ball. She's done well there uh, to recover after the, the first play. Cha with a nice spin on the left wing. Good pirouette from her. Good brave defending. It's nice effort from the Santa Cristo girls. It's good to see that from them. Uh, Cha's recovered and I've got drives forward. On the left wing, she releases May over on the right, plays it back for Angela. Angela's come in there. And from the left wing, Agot's flashed it wide of the goal. Could have been 2-0. Good play to win the ball back. May's in on goal. She could have got a bit closer, but that's a decent goalkeeping to keep May out there. Uh, again, still just 1-0, and it's not comfortable for us yet. Cha trying to get the ball through to May, but Santa Cristo have got back on the pass. Angela with a nice tackle. Mays through to Cha. Cha's in on goal. Keeper hasn't come out. You can see the goalkeeper doesn't know where to go on that one. Cha's waited to see what she does and she's punished that, smashing it into the bottom corner. 2-0 uh, to Payatas. Two goals to Cha, two goals to Payatas, and it's 2-0. Inside to Agot. Agot could have done better there. She's flashed it wide. She's dragged it wide of the post. Uh, and it's still 2 0. Angela's improved here. She's uh, in senior high school right now. Uh, she's only just recently really developed into the women's team and she's improved a lot faster. That's been really nice. But this is one thing you see with the 40 by 20 court is there's a lot more space to exploit and Santa Cristo are looking for that long pass every time to try and get back at others. Um, another thing to point out is that the court is so much better than last week. Last week we complained about how slippy it was. Now you can hear the squeaks as Angela drives forward again. She's going to take a shot, but you can hear the squeaks from the soles of the shoes. And that's exactly what you want, right? That's, that's a nice sound because it means that the players have grip and they can drive forward like this. Actually driving forward, she's laid it off in May. Oh, that should have been 3-0 to Payatas FC. We've had the chances, but we've not made Santa Crystal pay yet. AJ's going to drive forward. It's another good pass for Ash. She comes inside, plays it out wide to AJ. She's going to get past the keeper, lays it off for Agot, smashes it, bottom corner. Agot gets her first goal. It's 3 0, and it's a bit better now uh, on the scoreboard. We've converted that dominance a little bit better now. Here's Ronalyn. She's our sports manager, one of our first batch of players, our first batch of fair play scholars. She went through the whole system when she was 13 years old. Uh, she's going to drive forward. Bit careless there, she slipped. Could have been a foul, that should have been called. Uh, Agot's going to reverse pass into Ashley. Keeper's taken her out. Let me know in the comments. I think that was a penalty. Let me know what you think in the comments. Could have been about foul before that, of course, for Santa Cristo. Um, let me know what you think as Agot finds Ashley out wide. She's going to hit it, but it's, it's wide of the post. Uh, but it's another chance for Payatas FC. And it's good to see us develop those chances. There's Ronalyn. She's going to pass into AJ. As I was saying about Ronalyn, she graduated from USD with honours. Really nice to see as Ashley darts inside. She sees the keepers going for Agot. And she's going to knock it the other way. Well done to her. 4-0. Agot drives forward now. She's, great. she's got a great chance there. Keepers come out and she's done very well this time. She gets her toe to the ball first. Agot's going to lay it off. Ashley could have hit that first time maybe. But then the second shot has been uh, blocked by Santa Cristo better. Ashley, good interception. She's released Agot. Agot should have done better here. Another good chance. 4-0 is not comfortable in futsal. 
players can get back in, teams can get back into the game here. AJ's gonna intercept. I got drives forward. She's gonna fake the pass. She's gonna lay it off for Ashley. And there it is, that's 5 0. Uh, and I think 5 0 at half time, there's a first half gone. And we kick off the second half. It's a bit more comfortable than the scoreline, but again, it's not all our way. There's Sheila from Santo Cristo. She's gonna shoot wide, but she's had too many chances for us already. And she's gonna get some more. There's Ronald in building up at the back. Ashley with a good first touch to control. Cuts inside, nice pass. I got on the overlap. Could have done better with the shot. It's a long throw again from Santo Cristo. Sheila's held it up nicely here. She's trying to find a teammate, but Agot's there to intercept first. Cha battling with Sheila. Agot's gonna come away with the ball. Good run by Cha. A pivot getting in behind nicely. Agot could have done better with that shot. Ashley's gonna cut inside. We could have done better here. Um, what you're gonna notice though is that we've shifted here to one, two, one formation. We started the game in a two, two formation based on the system they know. As a one, two, one, it means our three players at the top are able to interchange. But we're not as familiar with this as we are with the two, two. So there's a lot of learning for us to go. That's a nice roll and a pass from Ashley. She plays to her sister Char, the new Thea and Regine, if you're a long time supporter of Payatas FC. Uh, good opportunity for Agot again, but it's straight at the goalkeeper. Santa Cristo are gonna come away with the ball, that's a good bit of skill, but Ashley will be there to intercept. She recovered nicely there, plays it to Cha, knocks it past the defender, runs past her. Good play from Ham, good bit of skill. Lays it off for Ashley, first time shot with her left foot, but it's just over the bar. Santa Cristo with a kick in, and Cassandra, our youngest goalkeeper, she's still in grade eight. She's developing really well and getting good effort. She's pushed it away. I got in on goal again, and this time the Santa Cristo has come out. That's a very good save from her. Good position from her. I got the ball for the shot, off the kick in, another save from the goalkeeper. Uh, and yeah, it's still just 5 0. Ashley down the line. I got trying to beat her man, and now Sheila's away there. Defense isn't back in time, the shots come in. And it's difficult for Cassandra to see that with two players trying to get at that. It's 5-1. And now it's a lot less comfortable for us. Uh, there. Agot's holding up the ball. She plays it to Ronalyn. Ronalyn again cuts inside. She's trying to dribble her man each time. She comes inside and it's a good opportunity to shoot, but it's just blasted wide. There's Ronalyn again. This is an excellent pass to Agot. Agot trying to get around the goalkeeper. And another good save from that goalkeeper. She really gets out there with the foot. It's a, it's a good technique on this time. Dempel here, she's the second player we have from Montalban. Uh, she'll recover, she'll get back, uh, but it was a dangerous pass there. Ronalyn was a bit in danger from, from the pass. Dempel trying to get back. Ronalyn will block the shot. Dempel will get ahead of a man. She pokes it through to Agot. Agot's one on one. Keepers out very fast, and it's difficult to tell from this angle, but that was actually a really good save. And here's the corner, keep her a bit out of position, but she's pounced on that. That's good play from her. This was a timeout. In futsal, every team gets a timeout each half. So you've got two timeouts throughout the game. <clears throat> the girls are trying to figure out what to do here. That's a good one too. Mays come inside. Well played from her to get past the man. She plays through Ashley. Good play to our pivot here, Cha. Um, but the ball has just gone out of play. And from the goal clearance, that's thrown into the other half. Sheila's in. Cass could have done a bit better, but where's the marking on Sheila? That's 5-2. And now Santa Crystal really getting back into the game. Again, 5-0 is nothing in futsal. You can get back so quick. Ashley with a good footwork, and there's another quick goal. This is what I mean by there's so many quick goals in futsal. This was very close to the restart, uh, and it's back. The four goal uh, difference is back for us. There's Sheila, she knocks it over. Uh, another attempt for her, and a speculative attempt, but that looks like it's hit the hand from AJ. I wasn't sure at the time if it was a penalty. Let me know in the comments what you think. As Sheila runs up, she'll smash it in. But yeah, as I was saying, I, I wasn't sure if it was a penalty, but you can see in the replay that it, it hit her arm um, there. So it was uh, now 6-3 uh, on the day. And that's not comfortable for us. Sheila comes in again, but this time Cass is off the line quickly. And that's good goalkeeping from her. It's nice to see her develop. It's nice to see her improve and get better. Like with all of our younger players. Ashley had Char there at the second post. She should have played that return ball again. But unfortunately, she missed it this time. Uh, she'll try and press forward here. 
Uh, Angela wins the ball, out wide to Agop, beats a man, add to the second post, there's Ashley, she'll poke it in, it's another assist for Agop, it's another goal for Ashley, and there's the four goal difference again, it's now 7-3 to Payatas FC. Good interception, Agop, keep us out quickly, she's made it difficult, but Agop will want to score those, she'll want to do better than that, she wants to be the top scorer of the league for the second season in a row as Ronalyn finds Ashley out wide. Ronalyn was one of the first coaches for Ashley, uh, all the coaches mentoring those youth ones. Ashley can't find it on this occasion, she can't get inside there, as uh, Santa Cristo will come away with the ball. That's an excellent reverse pass. Their number seven is in too much space, but that's a good save from Joanna. She's come out, she's blocked well, and these are the futsal techniques we're looking to, to teach. But that one she's got from Montalban. There's Ashley beating the buzzer. 8-3, she's driven forward, poked it into the, into the far post, good goal from her again, 8-3 is the final score and here you can see the girls giving each other big hugs, that's nice to see because as I said before, they play together in the U17s and U15 girls for Quezon City's uh, Batang Pinoy futsal teams, so they know each other well and it's nice to see them improve, they've improved from last week. Um, you can show a lot more determination this week and that's what you want to see in these leagues. They give the opportunity to play at a higher level and to improve week on week. For us, we get to finish uh, third in the league again. Azuri and Toloi also won their games. Uh, we'll be against Enderon in the next one so you can see um, where they are in the standings here. And if you like this, please let us know. Comment on the video. Share it to people you think will like it too. Give it a big like. Uh, and let us know that you support Payatas FC. Thanks so much for your support. See you next week.